how do you, if you're just an everyday punter and you're looking for someone to sell your home, how do you discern between who's good and who's not? The best way is internal referrals. So I know that's something that, that, that you pride yourself on as well, yeah. that internal network. If you don't know anyone, then attend open houses and auctions in your area and you'll get to see how agents conduct themselves with the public, with buyers, with sellers. And I think that way you can make a very accurate observation. What about the benefits, and I know you're biased, but of, of mm. using real estate in an investment sense? Why, why is it, is it safe as houses? <laughs> Well, look, I mean, apart from being a forced savings exercise and also a great capital growth exercise, because it's very hard to earn that type of money when you're looking at doubling the value over a 10-year period, which if you buy in the right area, that can be a reality, but the tax benefits, Aaron, so... You can buy property in your self-managed super fund, for example, and the capital gain savings that you can achieve through that vehicle or that entity is huge. And also, even in your personal name, the negative gearing around offsetting some of your personal income tax 